farther away. Oh, right! I saw on my phone that the demolition was delayed. But then the stupid train got away, so Nicole and the others are still in danger. Well, what should we do now? We need to figure out a plan of action quickly. Don't worry. I understand how you feel, Nekomata. But first, we need to have a little chat. Uh, what's going on? Why the sudden change in tone? The hair on my ears is standing up. Nekomata, this is important, so we want you to be honest. What kind of trouble did you and the cunning hairs get yourselves into exactly? Didn't the news say the train was transporting explosives? Why would it be carrying a bunch of fake PubSec officers? And you reacted so quickly to the enemy. Not like something you'd expect from someone in shock. Be straight with us. Are you trying to set us up? Well, well about that. If you want support from Faithin, you better answer my brother and tell us what you're hiding. I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. I really didn't know there were people on that train. It's just that I've seen guys dress like that somewhere else. You're totally right. The Cunning Hairs and I are in big trouble this time. But we just wanted to save people. You never mentioned this before. That's because... It's so ridiculous! I didn't even think I could explain it! We were so busy trying to stop the train earlier! You didn't have time to finish watching the Bang Boo's visual record! But Nicole's Bang Boo actually captured everything on camera! You'll understand when you finish watching it! Starting to get used to the ether concentration here. I wasn't feeling too good when we first got in. Hey, we might not have come across any strong ethereals yet, but the dead end butcher is around here somewhere, so stay on your toes. Especially Billy. You totally got carried away in that last battle. How many times have I told you not to make a ruckus? We need to get to the Red Fang Gang's base and finish this commission. Can't you be more like Nekomara? Fast and quiet? Even if the dead end butcher did come along, it might not even notice her at all. <laughs> Boss, I gotta say, we can't be blood nine lives. That counts for something. Everyone wait. You see the railroad tracks on the side of the road? It's not just broken off here. A gaping hole has been clawed out. Ah, she, she's right! Looks like the dead end butcher has been here. We might come across it if we keep going. That's no good. Since there's signs of it here, let's find another way around. Nekomara, will you see if your carrot can suggest another way to the Red Fang Gang's base? Yeah, I can find another route. But the path we're on is the most direct. I know you're anxious to find your family heirloom, but this is no normal mission. Safety first, as they say. You sound like someone stepped on your tail. Over there! I saw a little kid run past just now! Huh? What are you talking about? You know we're in the Dead End Hollow, right? There have been cases of small children entering the hollows by mistake. But the direction you're pointing, Nekomata, is the original route we were planning on taking. Hey! You think I'm just saying it to make you take that path? I really did see a kid! A little girl in a blue top with brown hair and a ponytail! Hmm, that's a pretty detailed description. Maybe she really did see her. Even if we believe you saw the child, are you suggesting we go save her first? I should remind you, this is not what we were commissioned to do. What's that supposed to mean? It's not part of the commission, so you'll just ignore a child lost in the hollow? <laughs> I knew you were boring. But cold-blooded, too? If you're worried about not getting paid, don't be. I'm not like you. I'll pay you extra for looking for the girl. <sighs> yeah. 
school. I didn't expect you to not be a bad person. Uh, huh? Oh, that had me scared just now. When she pointed out the child, I really thought her next line was gonna be, Forget the kid! I want my family heirloom! <laughs> but this kitty's a kind employer. If you really are determined to save the girl, Nekomata, then I'll go with you. You don't need to use the commission fee as a bargaining chip. Epi! You should at least ask me when it comes to commission fees. <sighs> Guess it can't be helped. But I agree, we can't just leave a kid in a place like this. A kid's aptitude for ether is underdeveloped, and she can't save herself. Every minute spent in the hollow is dangerous, not to mention the dead-end butcher is around here somewhere. Then <laughs> let's get going! Time and space change fast in the hollows! If we don't hurry, we'll never find her! What are you waiting for, Nikomata? Let's go! Uh, oh, coming! They really... seem to be sincere. Uh, oh man, why am I thinking about this now? There's so many ethereals around. It really worries me. Luckily, I didn't see any signs of them on the way over. Still, hopefully we can find her, and fast. are pretty good too hey do you all think there are more and more claw marks around here we've been coming across stronger ethereals too now that you mention it we can't keep going like this how can we save anyone when we're in danger ourselves we need a plan nekomata are you sure you saw her why is it every time you see her we find nothing the hollow changes so quickly. By the time we've gone over, things have already warped. It's not my fault. If we want to catch her, you guys just need to keep up. Negative. We don't have the physical advantages when it comes to running like you do. In our current situation, we should reserve our energy to escape if we encounter the dead end butcher. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? You talk about saving people. But when the time comes, you can only think of yourselves. That's not true. Really? Then you mean you aren't confident in your abilities? I can't pretend I didn't hear that. If I get serious, even Billy using his fuel reserves can't beat me. I can't pretend I didn't hear that, Ambie. No problem, then. We'll just run after the girl from now on. I'm more than happy to. What? Wait! Anyone could ask my opinion?
From the looks of it, we're already deep within the Dead End Hollow. I pooped! We've been running for so long! You guys have pretty good stamina. Weren't you the one who said the only way to catch up with the kid was to run? Now you're the first to complain. Nonsense! I can still outrun you all! Okay, okay. Everyone just take a break. We'll keep looking in a minute. On second thought, this area is about to be demolished, so the residents should have been evacuated. How did a kid get in? Uh, uh, well, maybe she got lost when her family was being evacuated. If it's like that movie, only a ghost would appear in such a place. Her sudden appearance was only to lead the rescuers into a deadly trap. Uh, th th there's no such thing as g g ghosts! And don't do movie promos at a time like this. Don't worry. If a ghost attacks, I'll protect everyone. Really? Can you guys not say stuff like that? Right. I feel better now. Let's get going. Huh? Wait a sec! It's a kid! Over there! Don't run! Wait for us! Huh? Wait. That can't be right. There really is a kid in the dead end hollow. Hurry, faster! We gotta keep moving! The girl's just up ahead! Nicole, take a break. <laughs> Watch out. Let's switch, Jambi! Everything's fine. It must be scary being lost in a hollow all by yourself, right? Don't worry. I'm here now. What are you talking about, huh? Uh, uh, we saved you! Ugh. Saved me? I saved you! Why are you wandering around that monster's territory? If I hadn't led you here, you'd have walked right into it. Huh? What do you mean? If it weren't for you guys, I might have found the Hollow's exit back to New Eridu by now. I think I can hear something. Oh, 
a pretty risky, but cool landing. Oh, good. The kid's okay. Oh, 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 oh. I, uh, I almost got a concussion. I didn't expect to get out of the hollow like this. Nicole. Uh, seriously, why is every single commission such a struggle? Nicole? Nekomata, considering the circumstances, don't you think we deserve a bonus? Nicole? I hear you! I've barely been sitting on you for a minute. Stop complaining. No, it's not that. Look in front of you. Huh? Isn't this Canvas Street? Then these people are... Wait. This is the Blast Zone. It was supposed to be cleared. Why are there so many people? How many are there? Over a hundred at least. Me and Envy only did a rough count of whoever was willing to come out and speak to us. There could be even more. I thought that Vision said they cleared everyone out days ago. They say they don't know what's going on. They haven't been able to contact anyone on the outside for a week. I'm guessing Vision has set up jamming devices. Yeah, so what is this? When exactly is Vision planning to evacuate everyone? Children, you must be coming from the city. Are you bringing any news? Excuse me, who are you? Oh, the little girl you just saved from the hollow is my granddaughter. Thank you for rescuing her. She's always been naughty. She thinks she can sneak into the hollow safely just because she's got ether aptitude. Yesterday, because a public security officer wouldn't tell her the exact time, she came up with an idea to go to New Eridu and ask around. I took my eyes off of her for one second and she ran into the hollow. Um, excuse me, an officer? Did you say an officer came by? Yes, that's right. Yesterday my granddaughter and a few neighbors got tired of waiting and headed to ask Vision what was going on. But an officer stopped them before they got there. They said nobody could get through because explosives were being handled nearby. And once things were ready, a train would be coming for us. Most of us here are old, sick, and disabled. Other than my granddaughter, none of us have any aptitude for ether. So we can't go anywhere. We were told to wait. So that's all we can do. But it doesn't make sense. How can something as big as a mass evacuation of residents not be scheduled in advance? They just left everyone waiting for notice. And I haven't heard of public security being involved in the project before. Miss, you mean to say... That public security officer who stopped the residents is suspicious. Huh. There has to be more to it than this. I remember them saying, Vision Corporation won the bid thanks to a much lower cost. I get it. The Metro Renovation Project is one of the most talked about in New Eridu. It's technically and financially demanding, and they still have to relocate the residents. But if Vision just dealt with the residents along with the demolition, that it'd save costs. So, what you're saying is... Vision has just abandoned us all here? Vision always wanted to perform well enough to enter tops, but I never thought they'd stoop so low for a seat at the table. No, we can't let Vision get away with this! <sighs> Nicole, what do you plan to do now? Uh, I didn't expect this when I took on the commission. Fine, sure. We came into the Dead End Hollow looking for something, and yeah, saving a kid along the way is a good thing, but... Oh, a small, odd job agency can't take on a massive corporation. So, what do you two think? I'll do whatever you say, boss. But, Anby... I didn't expect to agree with Nekomata on this matter. I'm staying. I understand Nicole's thinking. But I can't follow this time. This is 
my chance. I won't make the same mistake again. Is that so? Going against a corporation. Andy, you really hold at my heartstrings. They're the Vision Corporation. They may be big enough to join the Tops Alliance. Just think of the money we could squeeze out of them if we threaten to expose them. Quickly, Billy, Andy, go tell each of these gold nuggets, uh, I mean victims, that the cunning hairs are willing to represent them in their lawsuit for compensation. Don't just stand there. Get everyone to sign the authorization forms. Collect them one by one. And Nekomara, I know you're our client, but I have something for you to do too. Huh? Me? You want to save everyone, right? You know the area and you're the most agile. Here, take my bamboo. I want you to take it someplace and get help. Okay, that's everything. Nicole told me they'd stay in the construction area collecting victim signatures and monitoring Vision's movements. My mission was to find Faith in and get help. After leaving the others, I went back through the dead end hollow and came straight to your store. Really, I'm not lying! Nicole and everyone else in the blast zone are in grave danger! Please, Faith in, you have to help me save them! We believe you, Nekomata. But as professional proxies, we have to warn you of the risks involved. Right. In saving all the residents, we'll inevitably come to blows with the Vision Corporation. <sighs> you don't need to tell me that! I made up my mind ever since I left! All I can think about now is getting everyone out of the blast zone! <sighs> okay. If the client has made up her mind, there's nothing more to say. Well then, let's work on a rescue plan. Take a look at this map. The Cunning Hares and the residents are trapped at the Canvas Street Station, which is several kilometers away from the surveillance point where Pearlman's located. But to keep the trapped residents in check, he's transported a number of armed mercenaries pretending to be public security by train. Speaking of which, the train that we delayed earlier is almost at its destination, so there'll be even more of them to guard the residents. We're not strong enough to face them head on, but perhaps we can take advantage of holes in the enemy's defense. Yeah? What does that mean? Look, those trapped residents have no either aptitude, so the mercenaries don't expect anyone coming from behind. With everyone guarding the front, the surveillance point should be relatively unguarded. That makes sense. We can go around behind them through the hollow and catch them off guard. Yeah, good idea! And then? Then... We quickly hijack the train at the surveillance point and go through the hollow to the Canvas Street Station. As long as the residents get to the station platform in advance, we can have everyone out of the blast zone in minutes. How clever! The train itself has some resistance to corruption, so as long as we get them out of the hollow quickly, they will get affected! Yeah! Hey, Barry, can you drive the train out of the hollow and into New Eridu as quickly as possible? Affirmative. I have already mapped out the shortest route. No time to waste. Let's get started then. Nekomata, take this bangboo. Go find Nicole and tell her the plan. Then... Right! Then, it's crunch time!
And be here. I've got the last few signatures. Thanks. No, I should be thanking you. We were really at our wits' end before you kids arrived. But when is the young lady you sent for help coming back? She's been gone a long time. You're right. I hope she didn't run into trouble. They may have gotten the drop on us, but we were ready for it. That voice! It's the proxy! Sorry to keep everyone waiting! I see. So you planned to stop the demolition by blocking the train, but you didn't expect to find a bunch of vision reinforcements. Huh, this means vision is at the point of no return. They'll do whatever it takes to stop the residents from getting out. But the proxy's plan to seize the train could work. <laughs> it's true what they say about Faithen's wisdom and courage. Ma'am, you've heard our plan. Now, we have something to ask of you. We need you to get all the residents together at the platform nearby. Don't worry, I'll tell them. When the time comes, they'll be there. Right. By the way, there was an old Red Fang Gang base in the hollow somewhere around here. Have you heard of it? You're still thinking about Nekomata's commission fee. Not true. This is Nekomata's important family heirloom, and maybe the residents here know something. I know the place. Everyone around here knows the Red Fang Gang. <laughs> is that so? Yes. Since they made their name on Canvas Street, Everyone here is related to them one way or another. In the early days, they weren't what they are now. Back then, they took in lots of orphans, taught them to read and defend themselves. They often stood up for those in need. They said they'd protect this place forever. Unfortunately, a few years passed and that silver boy changed. He looked down on the slums and led the gang to do some awful things. As things got worse, many in the gang couldn't stand to see what it had become. Many of them left the gang. Soon after, the Red Fang Gang moved out of here. We don't want anything to do with the Red Fang Gang anymore. Silver fell into the hollow while being chased by public security. He only has himself to blame. What did you say? What's the matter, young lady? We want nothing to do with them. What's wrong with that? No, not that! You said Silver fell into the hollow being chased by the Pubsec? Wasn't he killed by the cutting hairs? Uh, w uh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Little kitten. <laughs> uh, I mean, Miss Client. You can understand, right? We wanted to tell you, but each time you looked at us with those big, cute eyes, we just couldn't. We're sorry! We were there, but it was public security who did it. Huh? So it wasn't you guys? Don't worry, Nekomata. Even if public security hadn't intervened, he was no match for the cunning hairs. Ahem. <clears throat> Even though it was you who got it wrong to begin with, we're somewhat responsible as well. How about we give you a small discount on your family heirloom commission? Uh, anyway, let's put this aside for now. First things first, we have to get that train and evacuate the residents out of here. Okay, let's go. We made it. Vision Corporation has its monitoring station here. The train is also nearby. 
To avoid alerting anyone, I found a secret way in. Here it is. Let's get moving. Sure! The Starlight Knight's here to punish the bad guys! Let's take the secret way then. Try to sneak over to the monitoring station. Not bad, Faithen. You're so prepared. Everything's going according to plan. Awesome. Seems like this route is smooth sailing. Guys, we're near the train. Our objective is simple. Take out the guards, seize the train, and head on out. Roger that! Uh, I think the pressure is getting to Ambi. She's lost her mind. Not quite. I'm guessing she's humming background music to match the atmosphere. Must have learned it from another movie. Enough with the soundtrack, Ambi. Everyone knows how important this next fight is. Proxy, we'll leave driving the train to you. How are preparations on your side? My driver's license doesn't cover trains, but I'll try my best. Don't worry, Master. I'll give you detailed instructions. Then, let's go! We'll catch them off guard! Attack. Come on, let's make this quick. Beat them down, get out of the hollow, and find the train. Baby, <laughs> 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 to be waiting at the platform. You, you, you plan to use the train to transport the residents? No way! Absolutely not! If they get out, they'll talk to the press! And Vision and I will be done for! 
I don't care what it takes. Just stop this thing at once! Warning. The planned route has been disconnected. Railroad damage from small explosives detected. Plan failed. What? Nicole, this isn't good! Something happened to the tracks! No way! D Director Perlman, sir! Don't worry! I've blown up the only railroad route leading to New Eridu! They can't get out! No way! You... You fool! You were supposed to blow it up after we've evacuated! Look what you've done! The residents can't get out, but now neither can we! Nicole, this isn't good. Enemy reinforcements have surrounded us. What should we do? Oh, damn it! Take the pipsqueak. Let's pull back into the train first. Come in, Director Perlman. Unknown intruders attack near the train. We've suffered some losses. But rest assured, in terms of numbers and supplies, we maintain the advantage. The intruders retreated into the train. Please advise, should we begin an all-out assault? <laughs> Director Perlman, requesting orders. Don't, don't storm in! I'm inside! These bastards! I mean, the ladies and gentlemen from the Cunning Hands have me trapped in here! Stand down! Do you hear me? Stand down! If I'm harmed, the corporation will hold you all responsible! <laughs> this dude has his uses after all. They won't make any sudden moves, but unfortunately, we can't go anywhere either. Right. The tracks are gone. And even with the train, we can't get everyone out of the hollow now. Is it... Is it the end of the line? <laughs> hey! Now isn't the time to be laughing! No, I wasn't laughing at you. I happened to find it. During the fighting. My family heirloom! That's you with... Wait... That's Silver! From the Red Fang Gang! That's right. I lied to you. I'm not the Red Fang Gang's enemy, but one of the orphans who used to live near Canvas Street that they adopted. The Red Fang Gang used to have ideals. They all wanted to protect their home. But as you've heard, eventually things got bad, and I broke away from the gang. They haven't been back since. No matter how disappointed I was in the Red Fang Gang, Silver took me in. The Red Fang Gang was the closest I ever had to a family. After hearing you led Silver into the Hollow and killed him, I came into the Dead End Hollow looking for revenge. But you're not exactly... what I expected. Not only did you save the kid, you even stayed. Without a single complaint, after hearing a vision's plan. And now that I know Silver's death wasn't your fault, I have no reason to want revenge! The Red Fang Gang betrayed their promise and abandoned the people they were supposed to protect. As a former member of the gang, I can't let that happen again. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go negotiate with Vision. Don't worry. With Pearlman as a bargaining chip, plus my identity as a member of the Red Fang Gang, things will work out. Miss Client! Nekomata! Hey! Come back! Nekomata! Nekomata! Envy! Billy! Open the door! We can't, boss! It's too tough! Perlman's people must have reinforced the doors and windows in the car! Damn it! Shh, listen, there are people talking outside. I've made myself clear, haven't I? Now, I'm gonna take your boss with me on foot through the hollow to New Eridu to negotiate with your command center. At the same time, all your men, all of you, will stop blocking the residents and leave with me. So, if you don't want anything bad to happen to your boss, you better find him an anti-corruption device. And the fastest route through the hollow! Nicole! Everyone's counting on you! Uh, we did it! We're out! Son of a... Getting through the door took too long. Nicole!
Kumon and Perlman have already gone into the hollow! Fairy, give me Nekomata's location. Client location found. Based on her current route, she will be arriving at the hollow exit in 30 minutes. So there's no way to stop her? No way. We can't leave saving the residents to Nekomata alone. If Vision is willing to resort to something so underhanded, they won't be easy to deal with. But our plan with the train failed, so how are we going to get the residents out? They don't have any aptitude for ether. Aww. If only there was a way to give corruption resistance to everyone at once! Maybe we can shake things up a bit. Ever hear the saying, if the mountain can't come to us, we have to go to the mountain? I know what you're thinking. It's a long shot, Wise, but I don't think we have any other options. Huh? What do you mean? Nicole, Canvas Street and New Eridu aren't that far apart as the crow flies. It's getting through the dead-end hollow that takes so long. If we can shrink the hollow and gain access to the exposed roads, we can get the residents out in one go. Yeah! Then there's a chance! We're good at taking out ethereals! But to reduce the size of the hollow, we'd have to eliminate approximately 3,000 of them. <sighs> Under certain circumstances, the ether activity of certain giant individuals can reach or even exceed the equivalent of thousands of your standard ethereals. You've probably guessed by now. I mean the dead-end butcher. Th th that massive guy? He's way too big, however you look at it. If something goes wrong, I won't get to see Monica tomorrow night. Mm. We alone certainly aren't a match for it. But don't forget, Vision left quite a few weapons lying around. We can help ourselves to some of their ether explosives. So that's it. We use the explosives to take out the dead-end butcher. Huh. It's like you said. A pretty crazy idea. But we don't have time to think about it. Let's get to work. Okay. The new plan uses Vision's explosives. All their stock should be in here. Suggestion. Transport it with a vehicle. Good idea. Let's load the explosives onto the train. This path's blocked. We can't go this way. Warning, Neko Miyamana's biosignal detected. What? Where is she? The target is about to reach the hollow exit. What's going on here? How did Director Perlman get tied up by a little girl? I don't know, but she got hold of Commander Perlman and the troops defending the blast area had to listen to her demands and pull out. She says she wants to see the person in charge here, so Miss Sarah has stepped in to negotiate. You're the person in charge? 
My request is simple. I'll return him to you as soon as Vision stops the demolition and gets the residents out. Easy for you to say. If we do as you say and it turns into a scandal, how are we supposed to explain things to the public? And who are you exactly? You aren't worried about negotiating with us on your own? Oops. Forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nekomi Omara, but you can call me Nekomara. I won't lie. I'm actually from the Red Fang Gang. The, the Red Fang Gang? That's right. I said I would negotiate. So I brought the proper bargaining chips. The remnant of the Red Fang Gang and a subordinate of the late Miguel Silver, who took residents of the old capital as hostages and violently obstructed construction. The bandit leader, Neko Miyamana, captured by the Vision Corporation. How's that? Sound good to you? You mean to sacrifice yourself? How noble. Noble? <laughs> I'm just a stray animal who's lost her home. I don't belong anywhere anymore, so it would seem fitting. How about it? As long as you contact the media now... ...and tell the public. Don't worry, he's not dead. The syringe contains an experimental anesthetic. Let me give you some advice. Verify the value of your bargaining chip before you bring it to the table. Unfortunately, Mr. Pearlman is not as useful to us as you might think. Hmm. We have to hurry. Let's carry out the original plan. Split into two groups. We're going to stall the dead-end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Leave the explosives train to us. Got it. We'll get going then. Okay, let's get the train moving. Got control of the train. I hope things go well for Nicole and the others. So empty out here. Are we sure that big guy's really around? Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. Huh? The beasties are running away. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. <laughs> Don't worry, Andy. I've mastered all the rules for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights! Gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Take them out in less than 10 seconds with a flying kick! They won't even have time to play their theme song! Behind you. My predictions were out predicted! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights too! Down easily. You know, I kind of regret this. Billy, concentrate. Just hold on until the proxy gets here and we win. I got you. Eliminating target. The manager's still not here yet? 
Hold on just a little longer. They're getting fatigued. behind the demolition plan. Then let me ask you. Winning the bid at such a low cost and killing all those people. Is the construction project really that important to Vision? That's not something you need concern yourself with. I think that's enough chit-chat. It's time to get down to business. What's that in your hand? This little thing? Huh. The detonation switch for the ether explosives, of course. I deeply regret the loss of any non-existent residents in the Blast Zone. Everything we do is for our vision. Goodbye. Miss Sarah, reports show a successful blast. Good. Wait! Look! That tunnel leading out of the Hollow! Someone's coming out! The Vision Corporation is a disgrace! Down with the Vision Corporation! Vision has the blood of innocent civilians on its hands! You can't silence us this time! Nicole! And everyone! Oh, so you were able to get out of the blast zone? I'm impressed. Do you really think you can expose us? Don't forget, everyone here belongs to us. On my order, open fire. What? How could she? She's serious! What's that sound? This just in! A shocking scandal is developing around the Vision Corporation! After receiving a tip-off, our reporter followed the public security and has now arrived at the site of the Demolition Command Center located near the entrance to the Dead End Hollow. Public security forces are currently cordoning off the scene and have subdued a number of unidentified individuals posing as law enforcement. Calling Director Sarah! Calling Director Sarah! We're surrounded by public security! Hmm. Not just public security, Bellabog Industries is here too! They brought the media. We've lost control of the area! <laughs> I knew Vision wouldn't give up easily, so I contacted Bellabog as we got out of the hollow. As expected of a competitor, they got here real fast. Director Sarah, what should we do? The Director Sarah? Where are you? Reporting. All suspects have surrendered. No casualties among the residents. <sighs> the 
Public security says we're safe. I heard they'll get our details soon, and we'll be taken to the station to give statements. <sighs> It's you! What are you doing? I was going to ask what you're doing, sneaking around alone. Didn't you hear the announcement, requesting everyone to the station to make a statement? I... Uh, everything has been dealt with, so I'm not needed anymore. No way. You are an important witness who can prove Vision is guilty. And then, there's the cunning Harris. I'm the one who tried to get you killed, right? You've still got to pay your share. Huh? My share? What share? Your share for dinner, of course. Didn't we say, once we are done with the commission, we'll go out for dinner? You said you didn't want to go to the Starlight Night restaurant, so Billy won't pay for us. And Nicole says she wants a decent meal, so we'll have to split the bill. Wait a second! You guys said you'd treat me for being a generous client! Why do I have to pay all of a sudden? And did anyone ask me my opinion? I never said I'd go! Then consider this a formal invitation. Would you like to come to dinner with us? The proxy siblings are coming too! And it's all you can eat! That's right! All the mackerel you can get your paws on! I... Anyway, thanks to Nekomata's connections within the Red Fang Gang, they won't be coming after us anymore. And I've made progress on what you asked me to investigate. According to the gang, they took part in stealing the Strong Box, but nobody knows where it actually came from. Apparently, Silver received a commission from a mysterious client. They were told to go to the Institute and get the Strong Box. But Silver didn't give the gang all the details, like how or to whom they were going to hand over the box, so nobody knows. Whoa, are you serious? You've got to be kidding. No one knows where it came from? Mystery client? Nobody knows the details? If you keep phoning it in like this, Nicole, we'll have to reconsider your investigation fee. Uh, don't do that! I admit, I've been busy with the lawsuit against Vision and pushed back your commission a little. But that strong box is really hard to look into. And I want to help those poor old residents who escaped death get compensation as soon as possible. We saved them together after all. Thanks for the guilt trip, Nicole. We'll let you off the hook this time. That reminds me, what happened to Nekomada? I haven't seen her since. Ah, that little kitten. <laughs> About that... So she left. Meow, meow, meow! Cat attack! I printed our group photo app! What do you think? It's good, right? Super clear! Come grab one! This one's for Wise, and this one's for Belle. You two look like someone just stole your favorite mackerel! Ah, <laughs> uh, playing on our heartstrings is a bit much, Nicole. And don't even think about using the commission fee to cover what you owe. Just pay 10% today. Get the money, Nicole. <sighs> Have mercy on me! I just wanted to surprise you. Ahem. Let me formally introduce to you... The newest member of the Cunning Hairs! I'm Neko Miyamada, but you can call me Neko Mara. I work for the Cunning Hairs! I look forward to cooperating with you both! Meow! 